Welcome Aries. Welcome to your reading. Feel free to check out your sun, moon, moon rising signs for clarity. See what's coming towards you. Um, I feel like with the blood moon in Aries at the beginning of the month, this is a very exciting time for you. I feel like you've been going through the motions, you've been doing the shadow work, um, you've been actually going really deep. And I feel like everything is illuminating. Let's see what Tarot has to say for this. Now, this reading, um, you'll probably be viewing it during the time of the um, eclipse in Scorpio. And with any eclipses, those are periods of purging, letting go, uh, getting rid of things that no longer serve you, decluttering, and um, just getting your life together. And I feel, I feel like with the work that you've done, Aries, I feel like this is going to be something um, very exciting for you. This is a very exciting time in your life, I believe. I believe that if, if you're going through something, I feel like you're actually going to bring about the change that you need. Okay. What do we have for Aries? Please give me some cards for Aries, please. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's getting really hard to shuffle. I feel like a lot of cards want to pop out here. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So you're actually working on stability in your life. You're actually, you're very resourceful, Aries. I feel like this is your energy. Okay. And the Four of Cups. So you've been doing a lot of daydreaming about how things should be or will be the will of fortune okay this could be like i said this is a very exciting time in your life and i feel like um luck is really on your side um the hierophants yeah, you've actually been doing the work. You've been putting in all that you need in the Five of Wands. Okay, you're actually building something. Are you building something for your future? Are you studying? Six of Swords. I feel like this is a very calming part of your life. If you've been going through something in the in the near past, I feel like you're actually moving into better ground. You're coming into your own the high priestess. You're trusting what the universe has to offer you, and you're kind of moving towards that I believe in yeah, the six of Pentacles I think that you're giving a lot to the situation the five of Pentacles cards going to come the page of pentacles and the eight of wands so this i believe that you'll be getting yeah you 
you have the two of swords on the bottom so that you're making choices you're making decisions you're making plans on the situation and i feel like these plans that you that you're making they're going to come quickly um i feel like maybe someone's going to make you an offer if this is work related i feel like um you're going to get news on the situation very quickly it's coming um, don't hesitate. It's coming. Um, but I feel like you're working very hard to build this. And with this Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands in your near future, I feel like you are... You're looking towards the horizons. You're you're moving in the right direction. You're building something that is going to be long-lasting. Um, with the Six of Swords and the High Priestess, I feel like you're moving on and you're trusting it is um, what decisions that you're making at the moment. I feel like you're giving it your all with the uh, Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're moving into a more stable situation. Yeah, you have the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, you're actually, you're juggling two options. I feel like you're juggling two choices. Um, and let's see what direction you want to go in. This could be you setting your priorities, finding balance in your situation. wanted to come out let's see okay the seven of swords and the five of pentacles yeah you you kind of had some doubt in the situation you were feeling like um this could be a disappointment you were feeling like this is something that you should just move away from um but i feel like it's going in your favor i feel like that you're building something that's going to be meaningful to you if this is relationships if this is job related um i feel like maybe you thought this wasn't going to happen uh, you felt disappointment and but yeah you're, you're going to receive a message you're going to receive a message about the situation and the two of swords again okay you're going to receive a message on this situation and you're going to have to make a decision i feel like you're kind of feeling like you're going down two roads Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Eight of Wands again. So this information, this message, um, you're going to be receiving it in the next week or so. This is going to be coming in quickly. Um, it's not something that's going to kind of linger. This is something that's going to move pretty fast. You have the Eight of Wands twice in this reading. Um, so it's something that's going to come to you kind of like a blank. Um you're kind of going to get that aha moment. Like, oh, this is this is the road I should travel. This is what I should do in this situation. I feel like your curiosity, um, 
has kind of brought you to the truth of the situation. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, this is definitely a new beginning for you. He's growing, and you've got the King of Swords. So the, what it is you're looking for, the answers that you're trying to receive, they're going to come to you, and this is actually going to, it definitely going to be like an aha moment to you. Um, this may be a new job. This may be a promotion. This may be something that you've been waiting for that you didn't think was going to come. Um, this may also be new income coming in for you, but um, it's coming. It's definitely coming, and it's, it's going to be coming pretty fast with the... Uh, the Eight of Wands twice, and the Ace of Pentacles. This is going to be coming to you pretty fast. And with the King of Swords, I feel like you've thought about this a lot. I feel like you... You're a leader in the situation, I feel like. And I feel like you, this is you gaining clarity on the situation. The Two of Cups, I feel like this is you coming together with your thoughts, coming together with your emotions. And um, this could be love that's actually moving forward to the next level. But I think that that is going to resonate for a very few of you. Um, I feel like this is more you setting the intentions with your higher self and actually making them happen. Well, this could be love. This could be something coming in. But uh, This could also be something, um, a message or a proposal to something that you're very passionate about. I believe that this is my my card of the impossible is possible. This is the miraculous card, like the when when pigs fly. So I, I don't I don't think that I think that you're going to be very surprised when this comes through because you didn't think that it was coming. Uh, you kind of lost sight of it, or maybe you stopped talking to this person and you didn't think that they were going to come back, or maybe you put in for this application at work and you didn't think that you had a chance on getting the promotion. Um, this is that sort of situation. But I think that you are, yes, the Queen of Pentacles, okay, you are very capable. Um, I think that this situation is going to bring you a lot of stability. This situation is going to bring you um, a lot of new resources into your life. You're a very resourceful person, Aries, and you have all the abilities, although I don't see the magician here, but I'm still feeling like you have all of the abilities that you need to succeed in this situation. And I feel like you've been um, kind of resting on the situation, um, but I feel like it's going to be a really big surprise to you. This is going to be a surprise to you. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarity on the situation. Okay, what's... Oracle cards to clarify this. Okay, when I lean on faith of the universe, peace becomes real. Yeah, so I, I think that this is something that you didn't think is going was going to happen, um, but you had faith in the situation, and now the universe is actually bringing this into fruition. 
Um, this is something that you had set your attentions on. This is something that you've been manifesting or meditating on, and you're actually bringing that down to earth. Yes, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So, yeah, that's Eight of Wands energy. You are, this information is going to be coming in fast for you. This is going to, and I think the end of the year, this year, is going to be a very exciting time for you, Aries. I think that you need to put the work in and just let things unfold in your life because yeah you have some beautiful energy here you also have the high priestess so I see that you're trusting in yourself you're believing in yourself you're believing in what the universe has in store for you you're using your full intuition in the situation so I feel like that's very beautiful energy for you okay one more card I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, and the universe wants to reciprocate that energy. All right. Aries, this is a beautiful time for you. Take everything in, and if this message resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, and risings for full clarity on this situation. And have a wonderful Scorpio season. We're going into Scorpio now. Okay, Aries. And um, as always, many blessings, love and light to you.